So if you go into mode and press the EMI receiver mode, then you'll find yourself in the N6141A measurement application. And uh, we've already loaded our amp core factor. Amp core is uh, global functionality, so the amplitude correction we loaded in the spectrum analyzer is applicable also to the EMI receiver. But uh, if we want to load all that same limit again for use in the EMI receiver, limits are local to each mode. So you'll want to go back and load that limit again. We'll select limit lines again, and we'll open the file dialog again. Now keep in mind that you're watching me operate this file dialog with the mouse, but it's easy to operate from the front panel using the arrow keys, the tab keys, and the enter keys. Uh, one of the tricks is the backspace key moves you up a directory. Okay, so let's load that same limit line again uh, into the EMI receiver application. All right, now in the EMI receiver, we have two measurements, the frequency scan measurement and the strip chart measurement. You can see that we uh, are parenthetically calling the frequency scan measurement also signal list, and that's because it's... Uh, it's got its heritage in the signal list measurement that was used in earlier Agilent pre-compliance and compliance receivers. Now, in the frequency scan measurement, there are three display regions. The scan region, which is here, and this shows you the spectrum that you're scanning. The meters region, which is here, and this shows you the instantaneous value on up to three different detectors at a single frequency and that frequency is indicated by where this blue line is on the display. And I can turn on all three meters by going into mode setup and meters control. I can turn on meter two, which defaults to quasi-peak, and meter three, which defaults to uh, the EMI average. And we have also the RMS average and negative peak detectors available on the meters. So the meters are showing you uh, the instantaneous value, in this case at 60 megahertz. You can set the frequency of the meters to any value you want. The meters are only uh, visible, of course, when you're not scanning because when you're scanning, you're moving through a range of frequencies and the meters are available only at a spot frequency. I can actually do a peak search function to move the marker to the strongest signal on the display. And then I can um, move the marker frequency into the meters by doing a marker to meters function. And that'll move the meters to the frequency of the marker. And here uh, we're looking at an FM signal, 100.1 megahertz. You can see that it's... Uh, uh, instantaneously measuring with all three detectors at that frequency. I can actually turn on the a tune and listen function right now and listen to the signal. I can actually turn that off right now. Okay, now it's important to understand that the meters for the frequency scan measurement and uh, for the N6141A in general, the meter frequency is the equivalent of the center frequency function in the spectrum analyzer measurement. There is no center frequency function in the frequency scan measurement. So basically the frequency of the meters is like our center frequency. And when we turn on uh, the global center frequency, which we'll be talking about a little bit later on, when we turn on the global center frequency, it couples our meter frequency to the center frequency in the spectrum analyzer. So that uh, if the center frequency in the spectrum analyzer is a, at 100.1 megahertz, and we go to the EMI receiver, the meter frequency in the EMI receiver will be at 100.1 megahertz. By the way, I think you noticed that when I had the tune and listen function on, 
uh, I was only seeing uh, the first meter and that's because uh, the tune and listen function uses two of the channels that are normally used for the meters so when I turn on tune and listen I'm only going to see the first meter okay now the bottom region of the frequency scan measurement is used to display the signal list and we'll show you all these regions in operation as we get into the details of frequency scan which will be in our next training module. So that's a basic introduction to the X-Series and the display of the frequency scan measurement.